Welcome back to Buy Your Ride Outdoors. Today is April 18th. Um, today I'm perch jerking with live crickets. Um, it's already 11.45. Um, I've been fishing, but the fish were far and in between. Never really got into a good spot of them. And so I never really felt compelled to take the camera out until now, which I feel like just had a bite. I feel like right now I'm in them. I've caught about maybe 15 today and I've been fishing it pretty good today. So got one. I'm using ultralight tackle catching bull bluegills. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Look at that thing. a pretty decent sized bluegill when you gotta hold it like that. So I've caught about four or five right here. I'm just kind of working this for a while because this is the only spot that I'm catching fish. Um, I tried to start this video earlier today but it was just really boring. I just wasn't, I wasn't even getting nibbles. You know, those of you that have fish for perch or anything, you know that normally you just get, you'll even get little nibbles no matter what. But that just that hasn't been the case today. Just a little bite. Nope. You know, the few fish I picked up before I got here were just real spaced out. I would catch one fish. There would be no visual, visible structure. I would catch one fish, try there again, nothing. And they're supposed to be bedding down right now, from what I understand. And a couple of them that I caught do look like they've been bedding. You know, uh, I don't mind keeping these fish because there's plenty, plenty, plenty of them. And this is one of my favorite things to do is to fish them with live crickets under a cork. It's supposed to storm this evening. I say storm. That's them fish jumping around in the mice chest. Um, it's supposed to rain this evening. I don't want to say storm, but it's supposed to rain this evening. I don't know how heavy, but I got a few more hours before I have to try to head out so that I can try and beat the rain. I don't know, I've caught like eight fish just in this one little spot. I know it's probably hard to tell from the camera angle, but I just keep casting in the same little spot in and around it. The way that they're nibbling it makes me think that it's some small ones. There we go. Got another one. This one feels all right. I'm using real ultra light tackle if you can see that rod bin <laughs> ooh, ooh. oh yeah ooh they chunky so chunky beautiful look at that I mean tick tick a nice chest you go bro and still got me cricket. It's kind of hard to get the shot of the cork because I'm really just trying to let the boat float as much as possible without trying to use the trolling motor. And so my cast keep kind of getting longer and longer than I go over there but the boat is just kind of walking so it, I just can't seem to get it in the shot, a good shot of the cork. I'll tell you what, this new floorboard is working out great. Oh, another good one. Oh, yeah. Awesome. I'm going to tell you something. If you ever have the opportunity to fish with live crickets for bluegill, 
Look at that. I can hide my hand behind that fish. And this ain't even a big one. I personally find live crickets to be a lot less messy than fishing with worms. And you gotta pull the worms apart and you get all that grass all over your hands. I don't like that too much. You know, and I always grew up fishing with, if I'm, I grew up fishing for bluegill and brim like this with live crickets. Um, with my dad, he never used worms either. So, it's just that crickets, live crickets are sometimes hard to find where you can get worms at almost every gas station here. When I first got here, there was a guy that came out like he is fishing the back and he was done, he was leaving. And he told me that he caught a bunch of them here yesterday. Which made me wonder why he wasn't fishing here. You know, I saw this little spot and it looked good to me. If the dude caught fish here yesterday, why didn't he stay fish? Why didn't he fish here again today? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he wasn't fishing with live crickets. I didn't have a good hook set, hook set on that one. Ooh. Little one. Yeah, it's good jug line bait though. So I don't know if anybody here follows uh, Major League Fishing, but um, you know. They're not, they're not having tournaments or anything. So what they've been doing is they've been letting uh, different anglers take over the live feed for Major League Fishing and they just fish wherever they are. Well, yesterday my buddy Cliff Crochet was uh, fishing and he gave me a good shout out for my YouTube channel uh, on his live feed. I don't know how, how many people were watching it. 600 people, 700 people, something like that. So. Cliff, I know you've been watching my videos, man. I want to tell you how much I appreciate that you watch my videos and that you enjoy them. Uh, maybe once all of this is over, who knows, bro. Maybe we can hang out a little bit. I'm also not sure about the depth and how it changes. I know the water's high in general here. It's just been weird today because normally when I fish for bluegill, I usually relate to some kind of structure or some kind of distance from the bank or, you know, something to figure it out. But today it's just been like sort of random. Like this is the first spot that I catch more than one fish in this in that spot. Um, all the fish I had before I got here, which I didn't film. Um, Sometimes they were by tree stumps, sometimes they were in open water, sometimes they were against the bank, sometimes they were far away from the bank, and any combination of those things just seemed like there was no pattern to it. So this is what I'm using. Number one Aberdeen hook. I wish I could zoom the camera out a little bit. But the camera is zoomed out all the way. I don't have it all the way in the back of the boat, but... I guess you'll be able to hear me. I don't know. Um, this is not the same camera from when I went fish that cold water bass in February. I like these little cigar style corks and I like the ones with the clips. A lot of people don't like them because they kind of kink your line up, but that don't bother me that much. I feel like I'm kind of pushing my luck here with the rain. Thing. I think these fish are so pretty. 
I don't know if the camera's really doing it justice, but this thing is thick. Another big one. Man. I don't know what it is, bro. It's definitely eatable. What'd you do? Get me hung up on a log? Big too. Oh. Man. He's just eating size. That's how you know they're big. When they start getting this forehead right here, like that. Another good one. I want to throw a beetle spin, but I keep catching them on these live crickets. Camera shut off, but I caught another one. Oh, I felt like a good one too. 
mine is caught up or something. Just heard some thunder, so I'm about to pack it up, I think, and head out here in a minute. Because I got a good little 30 to 40 minute boat ride back to the boat launch. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hightail it. I gotta shut the big camera off here, so. Mm -hmm. 